yo, yo, yo. What's good, y'all? Y'all already know who it is, man. It's your boy, Gio, man. I got some uh crazy information I got to put out there, man. Uh, it's about your boy, DJ Academics. To start it off, man, allegedly he's been accused of essaying women. And uh, I guess one of his girlfriends that he was dating and him and his team ganged on her and assaulted her and bruised her up and, you know, did what they did and uh, gave us some Diddy drink, you know. Um, I guess he's learning from Diddy, you know. Um, And the video that I saw, man, it's just like it explains a lot, man. It's like it's crazy. Like I could see him really trying to get at a girl like that like if that was my sister act boy you'd be in some trouble man you gotta give the females more respect than that especially when you broadcasting everybody else and their problems on what they got going on they album sales and how they do this and the that and diddy and jay and you you're just talking about everybody but yourself man and what you got going on in your lawsuits and your dirty work and you in the industry so i know you you learned a lot from everybody man so stop fronting man um i heard you know uh also you know they say Blueface had you know smash his girl too as well you know um he's butt hurt man these clippings right here is gonna explain a lot to your boy academics man he gets some jail time boy he ain't gonna know how to survive in there man and if he do he gonna be locked up for a long time they said that you know allegedly well he said if you're 17 and up with a college id you good that's that's messed up and that's crazy man you know um I got to put this one out here, man, and uh, I'm, I got to put him on blast for this one because he's putting everybody else on blast, so it's only right, you know what I'm saying? Y'all got to check out this video, you know, let me know what y'all think about all this and put two and two together and drop a comment. Let me know what y'all think about this, man. Why y'all let it hit that subscribe button, man. Put that thumbs up so I can get this one circulating, man, because academics need to get exposed. If this way he's really doing, man. He need to get exposed because he's exposing everybody, man. And it's only right, you know, uh, for that to come back to him in return, you know. Um, check it out. Let me know what y'all think, man. I appreciate all y'all love and support, man. One love, man. I just read the court proceedings. Oh, academics, your ass is going to prison, my boy. Are you shitting me? My thing was, man, I always rocked with you because you rock with Drake. But after reading this, oh, nah, you are cooked. This is really the only picture I got to show for you to understand what was going on. Because, I mean, he tried to say that everything was consensual. I've had some rough sex in my life. I've been scratched. I've had a girl ask me to slap her one time. A little bit dangerous. Whatever. Never has it looked like this. She was getting dragged across the concrete because she was unconscious and not even awake. So, yeah, you and your homies, I hope y'all never see the light of day again, sickos. And I'm telling you, you know when you get caught in a case like this... <laughs> Prison is difficult, and rightfully so. And then this video emerged. Here, it's very obvious, one, you getting physical with her. Two, there's people around. So for you to get physical like this, I can tell behind closed doors, <laughs> you may crash the fuck out. And on top of that, you can tell you holding her bag hostage. Or maybe she got something in the bag, there you go putting her hands on it. Nah. See, you're cooked, my brother. I swear. The in this audio things, that got released, it's not much difference it between a 20 a or a 17 you, or a 21 and a 17. Just kind of mean one's a minor and one's not what? a minor. But I will say, listen, I adopted this rule, which I think it was fine. I said, listen, man, as long as the chick got a college ID, See? she's getting fucked. That's on, you need help, 17. bro. Grown ass man. <laughs> You're cooked, buddy. And rightfully so. Fuck you. I look crazy right now, but I'm not going to stand here and let this man continue to lie about me. That's not what happened, academics. You know that that's not what happened. And for you to pretend that you didn't do anything, for you to pretend that you didn't do anything, that I just went to your house and I'm just some thought, like we didn't know each other for two years. You tried to save yourself after your friends assaulted me. Whether or not you got drunk or not, I know that when you woke up, you were on top of me too. You raped me too. And a test, a rape kit was done. You know what? I'm going to come back with my own story. Th this what you wanted and you're about to get it. I've been quiet for way too long. Go down the hallway to my guest bedroom and I see the girl. And I said, oh, shit. 
but I noticed this couple things. First of all, she naked. Second of all, her hair is like like frizzy and shit like that. This is summertime. Y'all, not DJ Academics threatening to expose every single male rapper in the industry because he got slammed with a grape lawsuit. DJ Academics recently got sued by a woman who claimed he tricked her into coming to his house only to blank her and then let his friends do the same thing to her. On top of that, he went on the internet and started spreading bare lies about her. Well, it looks like it all backfired because word on the street is that police have more than enough evidence to lock Ack up and throw away the keys. And let me tell you, this man is out here panicking and threatening to expose Drake, Diddy, and the like if they don't step in and make this little problem go away. Child, we better find whoever is writing this script and give them a million bucks because you literally cannot make this up. But what does AK really know about these rappers? And is he about to have his own surviving academic saga? Let's break this down. Let me tell you this. Let me tell you this about everybody in the industry. I'm going to tell you all this right now. If AK ever goes down, y'all all go down with me because I hold no secrets for nobody. That, that was a little crazy right there. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Damn, he ain't just say that. Baby, when Cat Williams said, this is the year all the weirdos and the creeps in the industry are getting exposed, we sure as heck didn't expect that DJ Academics would be the one doing the exposing of all people. But here we are. For those who missed it, DJ Academics just got slammed with an explosive lawsuit that, from what folks are saying, has the potential to end his career and send him to prison. The lawsuit is by a woman named Fauzia Abashe, who, according to court documents, is claiming that DJ Academics blanked her after giving her substances and then allowed his two friends to do the same thing to her. Because of these things she claims he did to her, she's suing for negligent infliction of emotional distress and defamation. So it looks like this Fauzia first met Ak in 2021 on social media, and maybe they had a little thing that just kind of fizzled out at some point. By July 2022, a year after they met, they weren't speaking. However, according to the court documents, it was around this time that Ak reached out to Fauzia and asked her to come to his place. And she didn't have any reason to think it was suspicious because she had been to his house plenty of times before that. And he always sent an Uber to pick her up from her house in Pennsylvania to his crib in New Jersey. And in the lawsuit, she actually added the receipt to the Uber ride he booked her to come over to his place. When she arrived at Axe Place, she met two of his friends, identified as John Doe 1 and John Doe 2, and they talked for a little while before she was invited to Axe Hot Tub. According to the lawsuit, Axe friends gave Fauzia alcohol that made her feel extremely lightheaded and dizzy. John Doe 1 then allegedly became very handsy as he aggressively made advances toward her before tossing her into the nearby pool. She then tried to get out of the pool, but John Doe 1 didn't let her go, and he allegedly proceeded to do the R word on her. The lawsuit claims that Fauzia has memories of fighting off her attackers but feeling extremely weak. After the kit proved Ak had definitely been with Fauzia the previous night, police were able to get pictures of Fauzia's arm, back, behind, and legs, which clearly showed that bruises had been inflicted on her. There were also text messages included in the lawsuit from later that day where Ak told Fauzia to get tested saying he would do the same. Fauzia allegedly found the statement odd, and according to the lawsuit, the text messages were further proof that academics, who has not slept with Ms. Abash for over a year, engaged an unprotected intercourse with her that night. Because if he really wasn't involved in the whole incident, why did he want both of them to get tested? On top of that, the lawsuit claims police made Fauzia wear a wire and do a recorded wire call with academics, during which he graphically recounted and admitted to having intercourse with her, even going as far as to describe her parts. This phone call allegedly led police to obtain a warrant for the surveillance footage he had allegedly shown Fauzia, along with other evidence. Interestingly, Fauzia claimed academics had tried to dispose of several items like bedsheets and so on in a dumpster near his office in an attempt to destroy evidence of the attack. Fauzia claims she chose not to press charges and instead just kind of tried to move past the whole thing and keep it low-key. That is until DJ Academics brought it up again in a live stream. But he didn't just stop at talking about it. Oh no, he made sure to tell everyone that he invited this woman into his house and that she allowed these two men to run a train on her. He even claimed he wasn't in the house when everything went down, that he was asleep at home, and when he woke up the next morning, he found Fauzia having an John Doe's one and two. My homies wake me up on some shit like, yo, act, we leaving. They're like, yo, lock the door because we're leaving. I said, damn, y'all leaving? They're leaving at like 4 or 5 a.m. All right, bet. I go and I go lock the door. Then they say to me when I'm locking the door, they say, oh, by the way, that girl you invited, yo, she down there at the other end of your house in the guest bedroom. So I go down the hallway to my guest bedroom and I see the girl. And I said, oh, shit. But I noticed this couple things. First of all, she's naked. Second of all, her hair is like, like frizzy and shit like that. This is summertime. Almost like she kind of went in the pool type shit. I got a pool like it's a big ass pool. I remember saying like, damn, what was I doing when I was sleeping type shit? She was like, oh, shit, now we were just having fun, blah, 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 blah. Here's the thing. I got cameras everywhere in my crib. She's telling me they were just chilling, having fun, waiting for me type shit. But I'm sleeping and I'm asleep from like 9 a.m. 9 p.m. since I got in the crib. And they don't wake me up till 4 a.m. That's how many hours? Seven hours. When I look at my camera in the morning, dang, the shorty was getting like, I, I don't even, I don't even like, 
she was getting trained by my two bands. Like, on my pool deck, the night before when I'm sleeping. I'm dead ass, this is what happened. I mean, this guy did everything he could to slander this woman and tarnish her character after knowing what he and his friends did to her, allegedly. Now, y'all know how messy DK Academics is on a regular day, but with a story as juicy as the one he was telling, he and his trifling fans had a field day piling on that poor woman and bullying her across the internet. After Ak made several defamatory statements publicly against her, she actually went on live to try and defend herself and tell her side of the story. But with Ak's millions of fans across different social media platforms, trying to bully her, her response kind of got drowned out. Then Ak clapped back at her, saying he didn't do it even though the R kit she did at the police station reportedly has actual physical evidence that he did it. Baby, I don't know where Ak gets his brand of audacity from, but he needs to share his plug with the class. And now that everything is backfiring, Ak is trying to act like someone is out there to get him. See, Fauzia Abashe is being represented by Tyrone Blackburn, the same lawyer representing Lil Rod against Diddy. It turns out this is actually Blackburn's thing. Like, he typically defends people suing these rich and famous men for SA related offenses. So, you know he knows his onions. Like the Lil Rod lawsuit, the lawsuit against academics had receipts upon receipts, baby. Like they really got him good. Nephew, forgive me. Ax hating on Blueface because Blueface knocked his bra down. That's it. No, no, because you notice how he came out of nowhere with it? The Shea girl? I ain't gonna tell you which one. Shut the f up, bro. Look, bro, that's Ax. Like these little bros, they run into the bro. It goes down like that. I watched Ray J hit LaDamia Thomas's wife when he was still at the Chargers. Motherfucker can't tell me nothing. I didn't seen the best of the best get hit. Not Shay Glizzy. <clears throat> Listen, bro. Shay Glizzy. So whatever Ack had to say about Blueface, Ack, that's my brother. But now we gotta clear it up and let people know why you why you so butthurt. Nephew knocked the bra down and nephew defense. He didn't know. Blue he didn't, didn't go know. after. Or Act didn't know. No, Blue didn't know. He didn't just go after his broad. But, it, you know, it popped up. It happened. And Act went through the phone. And he found some shit. And that, you know, he going at Blueface. Academics, nigga, you not safe neither. The fuck? You dragging the whole situation like you don't know the industry. And you don't know what the fuck go on. Like, you don't know what power these people got. Duh, they obviously not finna go and ain't shit finna be done to Cleo and shit not finna, you know. And duh, they gonna put out what they want y'all to see. And duh, if a motherfucker putting bread on your table, you gonna vouch for them. Who not? And you really worried about the wrong shit and not the right shit. And you know exactly what the fuck I'm talking about. If y'all don't know what the fuck I'm talking about, Search up DJ Academics and Zaya, and then come back and comment and tell me what y'all see. I ain't done. And Carisha really kept it a peek because she could have really exposed your ass. Like, dirt, dirt. And a few other motherfuckers know exactly what I'm talking about when I say this. So don't get out here doing no stream shit about me talking shit and thinking I ain't finna come back and say shit. You ain't got no management legal team that's gonna come for me. So I got time for your fat ass. I need y'all to understand these cases for me. Academics is being sued by a woman in New York court. I'm being sued because a woman who does OnlyFans claimed that I talked about her thinking she was going to meet up with me. She, I, I never told her I was going to meet up with her. I never talked to her before. She met up with another guy, not me. <laughs> Somebody who y'all don't understand. I want to call names. She met up with another guy. Never met up with me. She DM me crazy. Yo, what, yo, what's going on? Where you at? I'm like, whoa, are you okay? I got on the phone with her. I said, hey, I, I don't know who you are. Um, I never agreed to meet up with you. Um, it's kind of sad and unfortunate that you flew out here thinking you might have met up with me, but I, I'm sorry. That, that's not what's going on. We talked about it on stream. She sued me for defamation because I called her. Here's the thing. The woman at the time, I can't say too much because I don't want this to be added to it. You know what I mean? The woman, from my recollection, was a OnlyFans model and is suing me for defamation because in a conversation on stream, I said, well, if if that woman asked you for a thousand dollars to have whatever, that sounds like a, you know what that word is, the P word, I won't say it. A OnlyFans model is suing for defamation because I asked a question to say, if she charged for people to, that sounds like a, does that make sense? We've since responded. We're down to taking the trial. This is a frivolous case. I've spent a shit ton of money on it. 
But I'm I'm not. They wanted to stick me up for three hundred thousand, not in a fucking lifetime. You got to go do something else to go get three hundred thousand. I'm sorry, I'm not doing it. 